Hi guys, Mark here with Walter's World, and we're in Strasbourg, France, one of the top ten places you should definitely check out when you are in France. This town is beautiful. Basically, you have the old town is encircled by a river and a canal that goes around it and makes the Grand Ile, the big island. And the city is gorgeous. The cathedral, the the influ the like French and German influence in the town, the food, there's all kinds of great stuff to do here in town. And that's why we're doing the top ten things you should see and or do when you come to Strasbourg, France. Okay? Now the first thing you want to do is you want to walk around the Grand Ile. Okay? Okay, or the old town, basically the, the big island as they call it. Through there you have all these half-tempered houses, but well, you can see some behind me. Half-tempered houses, all the historic stuff, the cathedrals there, all kinds of things just wandering around it. You really feel like you're in Europe. If, like, if you're not from Europe, you're from the US or, or Japan or wherever, Australia, and you think, when you think of, oh, what does Europe look like? Well, when you think of the half-tempered houses in the fairy tale Europe, Strasbourg looks like that on the Grand Ile. It is beautiful. Take a walk around. It's safe. When you walk around at night when the lights are up, it is just gorgeous. Okay, so that's the first thing you should do. Just walk around and enjoy the old town. Okay, the second thing you want to do is you want to go to the, the cathedral. Or Notre Dame. Okay, yeah, it's just like the same name as the one you have in uh, in Paris. But the Cathedral Notre Dame is amazing from the outside. Okay, but you'll be like, wait, why is there only one spire? Well, there's only one. Don't worry, it makes it a little different. It's actually the tallest church in France. Okay, and it is totally cool outside and inside. If you see the stained glass windows, the rose windows, it's beautiful. They have an astronomical clock inside. That's the procession of the apostles and all kinds of stuff. at 12.30, you know, which, well, it's really beautiful to see. If you can't be there at 12.30, because they close it from 11.45 until like 12.45, you can't actually get in. You already have to already be there in order to be inside to see the fancy one, okay? So just make sure you're checking that out beforehand. But you go in the, the cathedral for free, it's beautiful inside. The astronomical clock's really cool for kids because they get to see, you know, death ringing the bell and the apostles going by. It's very, very cool. Okay. The third thing we want to check out is, well, I'm going to butcher this because my French is horrible, but the Musée de l'Ove, which is, I'll put it in the subtitle here so you can you know, go, oh, that place. Uh, basically, it's a medieval art museum, uh, religious art, um, right by the cathedral. Really cool kind of stuff. You're like, wow, that's some old art. That's some really cool medieval art. Definitely want to check that out when you're here. The fourth thing you want to do is, on the Grand Deal, there's a place called Petite France, or Small France, where I am right now. Okay, and this is the most picturesque and cutest part of Strasbourg. You have the canals going by, you have fancy bridges, these beautiful half timber homes, great restaurants, all kinds of stuff. You actually this place right behind me, one of the best restaurants in town. I ate there last night. It was to die for. Oh my goodness, I never had such good food. It was awesome. Okay, so but going to Petit France, it's really nice just to walk around. You see, I mean, the, if you take the boat tour around the city, you'll come by here and you'll take pictures right at this spot. Don't worry about it. It is, but it is beautiful. You definitely want to check it out. Okay. Now the fifth thing you want to do is there's a big group of museums in the Chateau de Rouen. Um, which is right across the street. They're building a plaza, kind of a chill-out plaza right by the cathedral. And the other side is the, the Palais de Rhone. And inside there's a few museums in there you can check out. Really cool museums. And even if you don't want to go in the museums, you can walk into like the courtyard and check it out and see, see kind of the inside of it. And it's really, it is beautiful to check out, okay? The sixth thing you want to do, my favorite museum in town is the, how do you say this? The Museum of Alsace, or the Alsace, Musée Alsacien, I don't know how to say it, it's basically the Alsace Museum, the regional museum, and what they've done is they've taken rooms and parts of homes, you know, it's like a, it's a folk museum, and they've taken parts of these things from all over the region and re put it in there so you can see how they lived, how they dressed, how they made their food their wine, their beer, all kinds of stuff. It is really cool. And if you want, if you have family from this area like I do, my aunt, a lot of my ancestors are from around here, it is kind of cool to see how they lived, okay? So that's the that's the sixth thing you should check out, the, the Alsace Museum, okay? The seventh thing you should do is actually, this is the second seat of the European Union. So actually the European Parliament meets here, there's a, the Court of Human Rights, there's all kinds of European Euro stuff here you can check out. It's not in the historic part, it's a little bit out of the historic part, but you can go check it out, see the modern and 
you know, where all the Euro tax dollars go to, <laughs> to, to get things and where they make the laws. So you can check that out. This is number seven. It's checking out the Eurozone, as I like to call it. Number eight, you have the Maison Camotzel, which is basically probably the prettiest house in town, the, done up, the most done up house in town. You can take a tour, but it's a 15th century, basically, mansion kind of thing. Beautiful, kept up really well, worth the tour to go in. Okay, number nine in terms of the stuff you should see. Actually, what's amazing is you have this basically fairy tale medieval town here in Strasbourg. Beautiful, Germany, France mixed together in perfect combinations. But they have probably the best museum on the continent of contemporary and modern art. Okay, so you definitely want to check that out. They have everything you want to see for the last hundred years, they have it there. Okay, it is amazing. So definitely check out the Museum of Contemporary and Modern Art. That is our number eight, nine in Saints Do. And then number 10, Strasbourg has a very big German influence, so you get the German Christmas market kind of feeling here, but in France. But the town is completely done up for the Christmas market. I mean, they have Christmas stories here all year round because it's, it's so Christmassy when you come here. The place gets packed on weekends uh, in the, at, during the Christmas market time, so if you're going to be coming on a weekend in December, make sure you book your accommodations ahead. Also, if you're looking to stay here, if you come when the European Parliament's in session, it is very difficult to find accommodations. So Make sure you check that out beforehand, okay? So, our top 10 things to do when you come here to Strasbourg, we'll just do a little review and we'll get you on your way. One, just walk around the Grand Isle and take her in the beautiful architecture. Two, going into the Cathedral of Notre Dame and seeing the astronomical clock and the wonderful stained glass windows and the rose windows. Three, going to the Musée de Louvre and seeing the medieval art that's there. Number four, walk around Petit France, this district I'm in right now. Okay, and just enjoy because this is like the super, super fairy tale part of the town, okay? <laughs> number six, you want to, oh sorry, number five, you want to go to Chaute de Rhone, which has a few museums to go check out, which are very nice. Uh, it's like a, the Beaux Arts, the beautiful art museum. Um, there's, there's all decorative arts, all kinds of really nice stuff there. Um, number six, you want to go to the Alsace Museum, or Musée Alsacien, uh, which gives you a nice folk, muse uh, folk museum, a feel of how people lived here for the last couple hundred years. Well, a couple of years, you know, until about a hundred years ago. I mean, it's just a really, really cool museum to understand the region. Um, number seven, go and see all the European Parliament and the European buildings, or the Eurozone, as I like to call it, outside of town, or outside of the, the Grand Ile. Number eight, the Maison Camoiselle, a uh, really nice house to check out. Uh, number nine, go into the modern and the Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. Here is a really, really cool thing to do, so you got that as well to check out. And number ten, if you can come here in December and enjoy the Christmas markets, you will leave in a super mega Christmas feeling because the whole town is decorated up. They got lights all over the place. They got the Christmas markets all over the place. And you have all the fairy tale looks and the half timbered houses, all kinds of great stuff to check out. So if you want to know more about visiting Strasbourg, like the five things you love and hate about coming here or the top ten places to see in France, or you want to learn a, bit, a little bit of French or German, or you want to see other things around Europe, the U.S., South America, all kinds of stuff, come check us out at our website, www.waltersworld.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. We've, we're all over the place. But please, hey, why don't you just subscribe right now up on the top above me and click right, right below. Okay, so have a great time and we'll see you in Strasbourg, France. Bye.